Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will understand how we can do the hypothesis testing in the qualitative data. So for this we will go in atlas.ti. After completion of coding of the qualitative data and creating codes, code groups, document groups, we can frame the hypothesis. But before that we will have to generate the cross evolution table. How we can do this? Go and analyze code document analysis, experience of parenthood, negative effect, positive effect, male, uh, female, male. Uh, the code document is ready. Now let's take this code document into the Excel file. So it's a same table which is in atlas.ti. We can save it. From here, Excel export. Now, this is the observed frequency. We want to run the chi square. So, we will have to calculate the expected frequency. So, for this, what you will do, you will find the total of the columns, total of the rows, and the grand total. The next thing which you want to do is we will calculate the expected frequency. So, the expected frequency of this cell. Will be based on its row. Uh, will be based on its column total and row total. Let's understand this. I will highlight it, and I will highlight it. So the expected frequency of this cell is calculated on the basis of row total. Uh, uh, sorry, column total and row total. What is the formula? B five into D3 divided by the grand total that is D5. Let's check it. It's the same thing B5 into D3 divided by D5. Okay. Now we will calculate the expected frequency of this cell. So it will be B5 into D4 divided by D5. Again, B5, D4 divided by D5. Let's check it. It's the same thing. B5, D4 divided by D5. Yes, it's the same thing. Now, the expected frequency of this cell. So, the column total, which is C5. Row total, which is D3 divided by D5. Let's check it. C5 into D3 divided by D5. Yeah, it's the same thing. Now the expected frequency of this cell, it is C5 into D4 divided by D5. Is it the same thing? Yes, it's the same thing. Now we want to run the chi-square test. So either you can enter the formula directly or we can activate the function from here. So fx, write down chi-square test. So here is it, double click on it. Now select the actual range. Select the expected range. Click OK. And this is a p-value which we got. I will do the interpretation on this, uh, based on this p-value. First of all, we'll write the null hypothesis. Okay. A qualitative survey was carried out on happiness of parents after the birth of child. The provided cost across evolution travel presents a distribution of responses based on their experiences of parenthood and the perceived effects categorized, categorized as either the negative effects or positive effects. The table is divided by gender with the absolute frequencies and column relative percent, percentages outlined for each category. What will be the null hypothesis for this? There is no association between gender and the perceived effects of the parenthood. In other words, the distribution of the reported effects is independent of the gender. Alternative hypothesis will be there is no association between gender and the perceived effects of the parenthood. In other words, uh, in alternative, I will have to remove null. Okay, 
Now, there is an association between gender and the perceived effects of the parenthood. In other words, the distribution of the reported effects is dependent of is dependent of gender. We got the p-value. So, as the p-value of the above cross tabulation is 0 0.956, which is more than 0 0.05. So as the p-value is greater than the significance level, our significance level is 5%, we, we would fail to reject the null hypothesis suggesting that there is no enough evidence to conclude that there is an association between the gender and the perceived effects of parenthood. In other words, the negative and the positive effects are equal in male and female. So this is how we can do the hypothesis testing of the qualitative data in atlas.ti. For more videos on atlas.ti, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. You can also join me on different social medias, link given in the description box.